September 11, 2001, a day that will forever be remembered as one of horror, tragedy, and terror. Like most of us, Sharona Rosenberg can tell you exactly where she was when the world fell apart. On September 11, 2001, my blood stem cells were collected, and at the time, um, I went in for the pre-procedure at 8 o'clock in the morning, and they were prepping me, and they were putting the IV into my arm, and all of a sudden, three nurses came in screaming that a, a plane hit the World Trade Center. While the eyes of the world were focused on events downtown, Sharona was having her blood stem cells collected uptown at New York Presbyterian Hospital. You can imagine what the atmosphere was like here on September 11th. The first plane had just hit the World Trade Center. We were all in a state of shock. Very quickly it became apparent when the second plane hit that this was no accident. The hospital went into immediate emergency preparation. The collection went forward. I, the, the, as I said, the, the hospital was in a state of emergency. Many people would have said, just disconnect me, I, 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 I'm afraid, I, I don't want to stay here, I'm leaving. But Sharona did not leave. She remained at the hospital, determined to save a life. I think the fact that uh, a donor would continue with the intention of making sure that what she was doing for another person who was critically dependent upon her for a life-saving treatment was extraordinarily admirable. I don't consider myself a hero. I just, I, I did what, what I thought was right to do. I wonder about, you know, the, the life that he lives. Um, and I always wanted to know who he was. The patient whose life Sharona saved is Alan Snyder, founder and chairman of Snyder Capital Management, a money management firm based in San Francisco. Alan was diagnosed with myelofibrosis, a rare disease of the bone marrow, which is difficult to treat. When I first got the news, I was totally devastated. I, uh, I, I've always gone through life thinking that I was pretty much immortal. When I learned that I was going to need a uh, stem cell, blood stem cell transplant from a uh, total stranger, um, I was absolutely shocked. Alan's friends and family immediately rallied around him, offering support and encouragement. Preparations began to launch a widespread recruitment campaign to find Alan's miracle match. That's when Alan found out about Gift of Life. And didn't realize there was a, a Jewish-oriented data bank that had tens of thousands of potential donors. And it turns out that as soon as I contacted Gift of Life, they immediately found my donor. Gift of Life found that needle in a haystack for Alan. Because he and his wife Susie now had first-hand knowledge of the fear and frustration that go along with searching for a donor, they understood the challenges that face Jewish patients seeking bone marrow matches they decided to continue to work to add donors to Gift of Life's registry. The reason it's important for Jews to be tested as pos possible donors is several fold, but basically the uh, testing for matches, what are called HLA matches for donors, uh, gets down to a genetic DNA level. And if, you're, if you do not have a match from a sibling, which I did not have, then you have to go out into the general population and the most likely place of finding a match is somebody with a similar genetic, similar ethnic background. Uh, between the Holocaust and the Diaspora, the Jewish population has been decimated and a lot of bloodlines have basically been part, mostly wiped out. So it's very important to get as many Jews as possible into the registry. Alan and I have been very proud of our efforts to get more people into the Marrow Bank. It's enormously important to support the gift of life financially as well as with donations of stem cells. There are thousands and thousands of potential donors out there who could be tested if there were enough money at Gift of Life to run these donor drives. Alan and Susie generously funded the addition of 7,000 new donors to Gift of Life's registry, an action that has already resulted in nearly a dozen transplants for patients in need. 
Their generosity has also helped fund an important project at Gift of Life. To apply today's more comprehensive DNA-based tissue typing to donor samples collected years ago. By fully typing previously tested donors, Gift of Life has facilitated transplants that otherwise might never have happened. It's something for my donor to realize that she hasn't just saved one life, she's been involved in saving eight other lives already, and there will be many, many more in the future. I have been so proud and amazed at the way he's approached this. It's, uh, he's not only given to himself, but he's helped the world in it, and he's taken his brilliance in his own business and applied that toward his fight, and it's been an amazing journey. I wanted to read a letter that I had written to Alan's donor. You have donated hope and already a longer life. You have donated his love, integrity, and spirit to us all. You have given this strong-willed man the opportunity to fight in his own way and to be proactive against this illness, an opportunity he wouldn't have had otherwise. It's been an overall um, uplifting experience for me. It's just, it's something that I never thought in my lifetime I would be able to do. And it's given me a new perspective on life and, and made me realize how important life is and, and it's given me a chance to be able to prolong someone else's life and that's something that you're not given usually in a lifetime. The fact that she donated on 9-11 makes her a bigger hero than, than uh, she is already, but the fact is she's an amazing hero whether it was 9-11 or any other time. Uh, it, it's just an amazing gift to have somebody donate life-giving stem cells to a total stranger. In celebration of their courage, strength, and power to inspire others, and in recognition of their generous support of Gift of Life's mission, we congratulate and thank Alan Snyder and Susie Katz Snyder Gift of Life's 2004 Partners for Life honorees.